Hallelujah. I had a sister last night telling me about she lost a cousin in a fire. Hallelujah. Burnt up in a fire. Couldn't get out. Hallelujah. And you know that's was sad to hear about someone losing their life in a fire. That I can't even imagine. Burning alive in a fire. So let us be prayerful. Hallelujah. Sister Barbara's cousin lost his life in a fire. Sisters and brothers, the Father is constantly showing us every day. And as I said, a lot of time it's sad because we don't realize how blessed we are until we hear about other situations in this world that people are going through. Hallelujah. No matter what we are going through, know that you are blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the time, we are blessed. Guess what? In spite of what we have done or not done unto the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, we can't do that with man. Man base, uh, base his blessings on what you can do for them. A am I right? Uh -huh. Hallelujah. You bless me, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to bless you. But my Heavenly Father don't want it to be like that. He did not intend for it to be like that. Sisters and brothers, but he intended for us to love one another like he and his father love one another. He said that in the scripture. That's what he told me. And I'm sure he told you if he read the same script. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. But you know some folks have selective receiving. They receive what they want to receive. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. You know like selective hearing. They hear what they want to hear. You know like selective doing. They do what they want to do. Hallelujah. Some folks holler about what they can't do. Have you tried it? Huh? Do you have a heart to do it? Hallelujah. I listened to that Brother Williams this morning. The morning service speaking about some things that, you know, I had forgot. But I was reminded. Hallelujah. And then today, our praise service, listen to that Mariah. Come out the box. Turn her loose. Yeah. Hallelujah. Then Brother Jaden come behind her. Hallelujah. I heard Brother Williams speaking about how Shandon came out the box. Just took over. Didn't have to tell him anything he said. And then this evening we heard Jaden and Mariah. Hallelujah. Didn't have to ask him anything. Just do. Hallelujah. But you know the father is letting us know that our young people not just sitting but they are listening. It might seem like they're not listening but they are listening. Uh -huh. Am I right? Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Because after us it's them. Uh -huh. Got to keep this ball rolling. Am I right? Until the Messiah comes back. Yes. Now that day and that hour we don't know. But I tell you what we should know that we need to be ready when he do come. Uh -huh. Am I right? Hallelujah. Sir. But my Heavenly Father shows us things every day of our life. Uh, 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 it's just me. Because I know he be showing me things. And you know I sit there sometime and I just look and I think about what he's showing me that things that you know we look over a lot of times hallelujah you know strangers come up and they bless you 
You, you understand what I'm saying? They bl- and I'm not just talking about money. Everybody want to relate. Uh, most people want to relate things with money. But when you down, saddened in your heart, money can't help you. You, you understand? Yes, sir. Things that we go through. Money cannot solve your troubles. Hallelujah. Do you think every rich man is happy? Hmm? They could take their money and go buy whatever they want in this world. And they still are not happy. Our Savior is what gives us joy. Do you understand? He give us joy you know when we think about hell and we think about the kingdom eyes have not seen it haven't even the thought imagined in our mind you know we read about the kingdom but none of us been there but we are trying to imagine in our mind how this thing is how beautiful it is you understand but we haven't been there but that encourage us the more that we want to enter into his kingdom. Hallelujah. Especially when we hear about hell. How hot that fire is. The elements are burned up. Rocks melt. But the good thing about that is that wasn't made for you and I. Yes, sir. Do, do we understand? That was made for Satan and his people that follow him. But my heavenly father said, I have a place prepared for you. There where I am, you may be also. Well, you know, that, that's what's exciting to us. You know, not uh, a new house or a new automobile or a new toy or a new this or a new that. That excites us for a little while. Am I right? We get that new car, boy, we go around, we want to show folks what we done bought. After a week or a few days, that's the war off. Hallelujah. Used to go to the car wash, if not every day, every other day, keeping it clean. That's the wolf. Right around with it dirty, I don't care. But when you first got it, hmm, you pray. You ask the Father for it. Hallelujah. Your desires, you know, uh, or you needed that. Hallelujah. And he gave it to you. Huh, Sister Betty? He gave it to you. It excited you for a little while. After a while, it's just a car. (laughs) Just something that you needed. Hallelujah. It's just a house. It's a house that you needed. It's just clothes. It's clothes that you need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love it while it's quiet, Brother Flam. I know we, I know all of us listening at what the Father is saying to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All these things, Brother Jaden, we need it. And our Heavenly Father provided us with it. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. But are we really thankful for what He done for us? Hmm? Are we really thankful? Mm -hmm. I know it's just a car. I know it's just clothes. I know it's just a house. Mm -hmm. But you do not miss the water. Mm -hmm. Ah! Until the well (laughs) is empty. Mm -hmm. Runs dry. Then you see how important it is unto you when you no longer have it. 
Am I right? We walk in our houses, open our refrigerators, our freezers, our cupboards, and we look and we decide what we want to eat. Am I, now, this is not the first time I done spoke this. But you know, a lot of times we have to be reminded. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm, you know, renewed. You, you know what I mean? Revived. Retaught. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell us there's coming a day on this earth if we live long enough we will appreciate what we have right now. Do we understand? Walmart won't be no more. Rouse's won't be no more. You go down to the local market, it won't be no more. What are you going to do? Hmm? And that home that you living in won't be no more. That nice comfort bed you lay down in, a certain mattress, and they got all of the names, the comfortable mattress that you lay down on won't be anymore. That nice automobile or that beat up automobile. Hallelujah won't be no more and if you have it he won't be able to purchase gas anymore hallelujah yeah. what are we going to do then does those things have to happen to make us aware of who our heavenly father is hmm when a couple of weeks ago, when everyone was getting sick, feeling bad. You know what I mean? Who do you think heal your body? Who do you think made you well again? Who do you think gave you the strength to survive? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I can only touch the hem of his talit, his garment, I will be made whole. If I could just touch the hem of his garment, his talit, I will be made whole. This sister had faith in the Almighty. This not nothing new again, sisters and brothers. This woman heard about the Messiah. Hadn't seen him, but she heard you know, just like we are doing today when we read this word, we hear and we understand what have happened, what's happening and what's going to happen. And it causes us to believe. Am I right? Yes, sir. Just the upper? It causes us to believe in the, the Messiah. Yes. A centurion man. He asks for a healing for his son. Yeshua say, take me to him. No. You don't have to go. If I speak to one of my servants and tell them to go do something, they go by my command. What he was telling Messiah. And I know if you speak a word and tell him to be healed, uh -huh. he will be healed. Yes, sir. Now, sure, looking at this man, I can't find great faith 
in my own. This man heard about the Messiah, the power that he have, the miracles that he's performing. Do we understand? So how much faith, how much belief do we have? Huh? Not in ourselves. But in the Messiah that speak it to everyone. Uh -huh. You know, we heard about who was it? I spoke about last week. Lazarus. Lazarus down in the grave. This man, four days dead. Spirit gone. Life gone. Good and dead. Looking around at all these people and these people waiting to see something. You know, like they hadn't seen nothing before. The Messiah was going around, Brother Jaden, healing people. Delivering people, making people turn from their evil and wicked ways. A miracle worker, that's what we call him. They seen these things, and yet and still, they didn't know Lazarus was getting ready to come forth. They didn't believe. That's why the scripture says Yahshua well because of all this unbelief after all Yahshua done for you after all he done for me yet and still I don't believe in him huh see this is not ordinary we understand the miracles that was you know first of all do you believe that he is? Am I right? First of all, because a lot of folks, a brother William said this morning, I call them church folks, he called them religious folks. A lot of religious folks that come to the congregation, wherever they congregate at, don't believe. They just going, you know, because of a tradition. I don't care if you've been going 40 50, 60, it doesn't matter how many years. And yet and still sad on you, you still don't believe? Oh, I got to go see what my doctor said. Hmm? I, I got an appointment. I'm going to see what, what, what he going to say. Mm -hmm. I, I remember watching uh, a show one time. And this man was about 100 years old. And his doctor, he said, told him that he was going to die at a certain time. That man got up and with the dancing around, he said, I told him, you no longer my doctor. Uh, am I right? You don't tell me when I'm going to die. Hallelujah. Testimony. And that man got up and started dancing. He said, you know what? He been dead 20 years ago. I'm still here. You understand? Yes, 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 yes. How can some man tell you how long you go? Who he think he is? Am I right? And I know we go to these doctors and I know they have knowledge. Not knocking your brother Dean. You know, Peter, Luke was a physician and the father got them and he gave them knowledge he get them understanding but he's still the ultimate one Hallelujah. I don't care how much medicine you take if he say you're not going to be healed right now guess what you're not going to be healed yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
You know, some people got to go through certain things where they can learn from this. You know, we go around and we help this and we help. Oh, I'm broke. I need money. We give them money and all and they still broke. Huh? Y'all sure say you're going to stay broke. I don't care who give you. I make them broke. You understand? So what I'm saying to us is a lot of time we got to stay out the way yeah. and let Yahshua have his way. Yeah. You, we understand? Because everything that we see, sometimes we feel we got to go. You know, some things are expedient but not lawful. Keep your mouth closed sometime. If not all the time, and let the Father have His way. You don't understand what I'm saying, sisters and brothers. Hallelujah. He's speaking to me too. Don't get upset, but get right. Yeah. Yeah, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's when we say, "If it be the Father's will." You know, I, I, I me myself, I got to get back in practice of that because I, I said I was going to do it, and I kind of, you know, a lot of times we slack off. <laughs> But it's good that we see our wrongdoing so we can correct it. Hallelujah. Because you know they got many, as Brother Williams say, religious folks never see their wrongdoing. So how can they be corrected? Hallelujah. And I pray that there's many out there that are listening to me. Not to down you, but I'm here by the help and the way of Almighty Yahweh to lift you up, to help you. Hallelujah. Yeah. You see, because we didn't come here to beat you down. Oh, yeah. But we came that you might have eternal life. Hallelujah. See, our mind have to be open and ready to receive something. Because if your mind is not open and ready to receive something, guess what? Sisters and brothers, those that are listening on Facebook, you will not receive nothing. Because you got many folks that are in this world looking for someone to fall. And when they fall, see... I told you. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah, but you weren't speaking about what you did on last week. <laughs> you understand that was wrong. <laughs> you understand when you came to the congregation and you were sitting down there with evil thoughts in your heart. Your mind was not on the word because the father was speaking to you. You did not hear. <laughs> Am I right? A lot of folks say, oh, the pastor preached. He brought good forth a word. What did he preach about? I don't know, but he sounded good. And the father could have been speaking to them, and they did not even receive nothing. Trouble in my way. Sometime I have to cry trouble is in my way but if trouble is in your way trouble could be moved out of your way if you want it because a lot of religious folks don't want to live a righteous life hallelujah you come to the congregation with the wrong intent your mind is not made up to do what's right in the Father's sight. Hallelujah. And what's sad, many folks don't realize how close to death they are. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know, Yahshua said he could speak a word and a man will lay down and die. For your evil thoughts, your evil doings. And he also can speak a word like he spoke to Lazarus. Yeah. You understand? Dead for four days. He spoke to Lazarus. He called Lazarus' name and he said, Lazarus, come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, last week I told you they got many folks walking around here living and still don't hear the voice 
of the Almighty. And here we find a dead man heard his voice. Now that's something to think about. Huh? That's something to think about. Oh, I hear him calling my name. A lot of folks don't hear that. Why? I'm glad you asked. Because you're too busy doing your own thing that's not right. You know, the Bible calls some folks busy bodies and other people's matters. You, you understand? Now, if the shoe fit, if I'm talking to you, good. Am I right? Because although that's what we come here for, am I right? The Bible say make them to know their sins. We come here to see where we are sinning and where we need to stop sinning. Am I right? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Folks say I'm coming here to get my blessing. Well, you're getting your blessing right now. It's not money, but it's salvation. You're getting your blessing. Money cannot save you. Money cannot bring joy to you. Hmm? Money is just like man. You here for a little while, after a while, you vanish it away. Don't know which way you went. You, you ever had a pocket full of money? Hmm? Oh, I might be the only one, huh? I ain't got it now. Boy, I go around thinking I could buy everything. Hmm? Take a whole week to make it. Five minutes to spin it up. Don't know which way it went. You know, the Bible speak about, you know, like those holes in your pocket. We don't, we, when we don't give offerings unto the Almighty. Yeah, well, you know, people say, when you don't pay your tithes, how are you going to pay something that you don't even own? Uh, you got to give back to the Heavenly Father what's due unto Him. Am I right? He only asked for 10. Offerings. Just offer. You can offer your help. You can offer a word. Am I right? You can offer you. Am I right? Work while it is day. While you still have breath in your body, do what you can or that you was commanded to do. I say it like that. Because the Father give us commands to do. But we don't always do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And a lot of times we don't have the same command. Hallelujah. Work. While we can. You know we spoke about Ephesians. On last week. I say we didn't finish up. But I just had. I think it was a couple of verses. Hallelujah. Do you all remember? Hallelujah. Now to him who is able. Somebody remember that, huh, Sister Betty? That is able. Our Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahshua, is able to do more than what we can imagine. Do we understand? Uh -huh. yeah. Well, you need to understand this. All you have to do, all you have to do, Brother Blackwell, is just call on him. Trust in him. Believe in him. Sisters and brothers, let me tell you something. Our father is able to to do anything that he will. Yes. You understand that? Yes. But what we need to understand is how much do we believe in him? Hmm? How much do we believe? Because if we believe in him, we will trust him. We will give it unto him. And not try to fix it ourselves. You know how a lot of times we pray. We, oh, I'm going to pray on this. I'm going to pray to the Father. 
My child need help. I'm going to pray for them. But then you're around the corner trying to help them. If you give it to the father, sisters and brothers, leave it alone. Do, do we understand? If we trust in him, we'll leave it alone. You, you know, like the, the, the prodigal son, when he asked for all that was going to be given unto him, all his possessions and stuff. When his father gave that to him, do you think he followed him to see what he was going to do? Or he just let it went on? Huh? That father had sense enough to believe that Almighty Yahweh is not going to let no harm go to that child. Even though he knew he was going to go out there and mess up. Let him go. You want to go out there and be buffeted for a little while? Go. When Yahshua finished with you and he bring you down so low, you have no other choice but to look up at him. The things that you have been taught, all of it is going to come back to you when you least expect it. You're going to be down so far. Can't nobody help you. Can't nothing help you. But the scripture says this. That that young guy, young man came to his senses. You know, sometimes we have to suffer some things to make us come to our sense. To realize who we are, who we belong to. Hallelujah! You know, like, I always use this brother, David. When David messed up, David still thought he was on top. David still thought he was doing good. If a man have a hundred sheep and this other man have one sheep and this man with a hundred sheep go take that man's one sheep what do you think ought to happen to that man he spoke his own conviction you know like like we do sometimes. We speak about things. We speak about people. And we say things that we ought not to say. Because we don't want other folks to say those things about us. Am I right? So the question is to us. Why do we say certain things about other folks. That we don't want other folks to say about us. Hallelujah. Yeah. I heard Brother William say once, his mama told him, do not throw rocks if you're living in a glass house. <laughs> Am I right? So don't none of us in here, those that are listening, have any room to talk about anybody. Because the scripture says, all have what? Sin. And Cain. <clears throat> so we are aware of that. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we feeling good today? Hallelujah. Huh? Let Yahweh have his way. Hallelujah. Now, the ending of, of, of Ephesians 3, you know, Paul starts off this verse with a powerful statement. Yahweh is able. That's powerful. Am I right? He 
is able. Now, sisters and brothers, what do we need Yahweh to do for us right now? Only you can answer that. Because I don't know what you need. You don't know what I need. But I know that we are in need. Am I right? If anybody here is not in need, raise your hands. I ain't see no hands go up. Because all of us need salvation. Am I right? And we need to know how to get there. Am I right? And he done told us how to get there. Am I right? But some of us, if not all of us, falls weak. Am I right? Sometimes we find ourselves doing things that we know we ought not to do. And a lot of us base those things on what other folks do to us. But I read in the scripture the commandment. And the commandment says, do unto others. Yeah, am I right? Am I the only one read that? Those that are on Facebook listening. Do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Now, I could I just stop right there. And there's a lot of folks ain't going to make it because of that. Because most of the time, religious folks base what other folks do unto them. Am I right? But did the scripture tell us to do that? Nope. I'm talking about religious folks now. Those that go to church every Sunday. Every Sabbath. Hmm? And you talk about the Lord. You talk about the almighty Yahshua Yahweh. How much he love you. So the question is. How much do you love. Him. How much do you love. Yourself. Hmm. Because the things that we do. Unto other folks. We don't want them to do that. Unto us. Am I right? I'm just talking. Making us aware of what we do. What we should not do. What we should be doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we talk about it's a simple method. To be saved. And we talk about. I love him. Do you know what love is? And I hear so many people in this world. I love you. When they tell you. That they love you. And I'm not going to leave you out. When you tell them that you love them, do you really mean it? Hallelujah. Huh? Yeah. There's some things that we, we need to be made aware of that we do most of the time, every day of our life. We at the supermarket, we are uh, at the mall or uh, uh, car wash or wherever. And we run into other folks. And some of them is our folks folks sisters and brothers and we tell them that we love them and you know my motto I always say don't tell me that you love me show me that you love me because I think that's better than someone lying hallelujah See, I, I know it's quiet in here because people are thinking people on Facebook they are thinking you're, being, you, you're thinking about what's being said. You know why? Because the Father is speaking to you. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yes. We need to know where we stand in the Almighty, sisters and brothers. Hallelujah. See, even, even when we come here, I don't want this to be tradition. I want this to be real. Hallelujah. Am I right? Yeah. You know how we go? Be real with it. 
Stop faking. Stop playing. Because however the Messiah, he said this, however I find you when I come back, you remain. Am I right? Now, I got another question for us. How many of us in here know when we're going to die? Hmm? So why play Russian roulette with your life? Those last words that you spoke out of your mouth to a loved one or to a stranger, what did you say to them that was good or bad? Huh? You ever thought about that? Huh? When you was riding down the highway on the interstate, down 51, wherever you was traveling at, huh? somebody cut you off. Ooh! That word slipped out your mouth. You know what I'm talking about. You thought you got rid of it, but it was still there. Huh? It didn't take number one second. Hallelujah. You didn't even think. Hallelujah. Before you spoke. Hallelujah. And you know those words when you speak them out, you can't bring them back. Huh? If it went out and destroyed, oh, they didn't hear me. No, they didn't hear you, but the Almighty did. He know your heart. Hallelujah. He's preaching to us, isn't he? Uh, he hey, brother, 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 my brother right here, he's making us know our sin. Am I right, Brother Jada? Hallelujah. Small things, and I keep repeating that, small things are going to cause many people to lose their life. And, and, you know, we, we get together, you know, we have family gatherings, we get together and we enjoy one another. And, and that's good. Come to the current, we, we, we enjoy one another. We eat together, break bread, you know, we, we enjoy one another. But when our loved ones die off and we wasn't real with them, we put on with them, we fake. How do you think the father feel? Hmm? And if you die with that in your heart, doing the same thing repeatedly over and over and over, where do you think you're going to wind up at? Hallelujah! You know, father just speaking some words to us. Hallelujah. To him, who is able to deliver you from your evil and wicked ways? To him. Sisters and brothers, do we need him? Huh? Do we need him? Man heart. Brother William spoke that this morning. Man heart is evil. Continuously. Huh? His heart is evil. That's why without the Almighty, we will not make it. I don't care how good religious folks act. You will not make it. According to the scripture. I'm not putting you in hell. And I can't put you in heaven. But I can tell you how to stay out of hell. And I can tell you how to get in heaven. But it's your choice. Hallelujah. Paul. Yahweh is able. In the previous verse Paul had just talked about. Yahweh's power and love. Am I right? He's encouraging the people. To be rooted in Yahweh's word. Did, 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 did y'all just hear that? To be rooted in Yahweh's word. Not the world. Don't get that mixed up. But he say in his word. Now how many of us know his word? How many of us read his word? How many of us study his word? How many of us? Or do we go around still inheriting lies huh do we 
Oh, I, I ain't going to date church. That's a doomsday. Hallelujah. You could call it what you want. But I'm here to tell you, if you don't live a righteous life according to what the word tell you and not what the world tell you, you going to hell. I don't care what congregation you go to and I don't care how much money you put in there. That's not going to save you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you have a right to choose what congregation you want to go to. You have a right to choose what kind of life you want to live. You have a right. But guess what? Whatever Yahweh told me to do, that's what I'm going to practice. Whatever he told me to speak, that's what I'm going to speak. Do we understand? And all of us should be like that all over the world. But it's sad. People have evil hearts. It's sad. When he speak about the kingdom... And religious folk, you know, no, just, just like they got this uh, march, Martin Luther King march, uh, what, Monday. You know, and, and I appreciate Martin Luther King, but they had a king before Martin Luther King. Am I right? Yahshua and Yahweh. But how many folks are doing what they commanded us to do. Hallelujah. Just like a lot of people march for Martin Luther King. They lie. Got evil in their heart. You got to wake up. And you got to do what's right. Yes. In Yahweh's sight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Martin Luther King did a lot of good things. But a lot of these folks talking about marching for him, you're not following what he commanded either. Right. Hallelujah! I remember Brother Williams preached this sermon. Is your zeal real? Huh? How many folks have a zeal for Almighty Yahweh and Yahshua? Huh? And is it real? I'm talking about religious folks. Religious folks. Everybody that call me master, master, don't do what I say. Hallelujah. And it's sad, but it's real. Many folks, religious folks, go to church and they don't even like the one that they're sitting by. Hallelujah. Get the shoe fit wear it. It's time for us to get right. Like the scripture tell us. Now unto him who's able to deliver you. Hallelujah. Now unto him that is able. Do you want to be delivered? Hallelujah. Religious folks, do you want to be delivered? Now, the Messiah, when he was crucified, we heard this this morning also, when he got ready to be crucified, it was not the sinner man, religious folks. Hallelujah! Just to tell you about religious folks, how they are, that congregate at the same church, but don't get along with one another. Hmm? So that tells me, <laughs> and it tells you, your religion can't save you. Hallelujah! Is your zeal real? Now, I'm, 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 I'm getting ready to sit down. I didn't get to 
some things that I need. I will use that next week. And it's good for your soul. Yeah, this is good also for our soul. But the Father want us to know every religion to know. If you are not following him, you understand? Every religion, and I don't have to call no names out. What I say unto one, I say unto all. Why call me master, master, and you don't do what I say? Hmm? Why do you say you are my child and you don't do what I command you to do? Hmm? You know, a lot of religious folks, when they get upset, everything comes out. <laughs> Hallelujah. Curse words, all kind of stuff comes out. You don't tell me what to do. Well, it's not what I'm telling you. I'm telling you what the Bible's saying. You reading it for yourself. Right. Mm, but you know, a lot of folks, religious folks, when you bring things to their attention, they get upset. Why? Because you do not have the spirit of almighty Yahweh in you, controlling you. That's why. A lot of folks had his spirit, but didn't realize the spirit is gone. Because if you keep disobeying the spirit, it will not strive with you always. That's what the scripture tell us. Am I right? You started out with it. And everything the father commanded you to do, you was ready running, geared up. And then after a while, your fire died down. Hmm, you know why? You like those foolish virgins. You burn all your oil up. You needed to trim it down some. Hallelujah. Because when you got it up, you can't hear nothing. You're not, you're not being humble. Hmm? But when you trim it down, come down. Abase yourself. Hmm? That's what the scripture tells us. We gotta come down. But the trouble it is with a lot of religious folks when they learn stuff, they're ready to run. Oh, it says this. I know it. How do you know? You ain't been in it long enough. Be quiet. Abase yourself. Let this thing come in you. Digest it. Regurgitate it. Chew on it some more. Make sure of your calling. Hallelujah. I thank the Father for his blessings, for his healing, for his delivering, for his education. Thank him for so much. As I look at my sisters and brothers and those that are listening, I don't see you. But if you're listening, you're blessed because he's giving you what you need in order to make it into the kingdom. But again, sisters and brothers, just a reminder. We all, you understand, have a choice. He giving it to us. But will you receive it? We have a choice. What I say unto one, I say unto all. This woman, Mary, that had a precious box of ointment. The best thing that she had. Yahshua blessed this woman. In return, Mary, Wanted to bless the Messiah. You know, do, do we have anybody here like that? We done been blessed. In return, we want to bless him back. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Remember what the scriptures say. What you do to the least of my little ones, you also do. I, you know, I, I got to keep reminding us of certain scriptures. Hallelujah. So we continue to be blessed. Hallelujah. 
said she anointed him and a disciple thought something was wrong with her you know how sometimes when we do stuff for other folks what's wrong with you hmm? they try to encourage you not to do that's what the disciple don't you know this all is expensive don't you know you could take this all and sell it take that money and give it to the poor Yahshua said to him leave her alone for she is doing what a good work and preparing me for my burial in fact you talking about the poor the poor is going to be with you always and when he spoke that back then as we look around this world what do we see poor people yes. hallelujah and like I always tell us we, we not poor we bless a poor person don't know where their next meal coming from have nowhere to change clothes that someone else gave them hmm no bed to lie down now and it's cold out there and it's going to get colder go to New Orleans and we look I say New Orleans you got them in Hamlin they ain't me here we see people all around now begging cardboard box houses over the vents with steam blowing up that's how they keep warm you understand and they have folks worse than that that we don't see poor don't know where they next meal hallelujah you know earlier I told us how we can walk in our own houses and decide what we want to eat and if there's nothing in there that we don't want to eat we got a little money in our pocket we jump in our automobile go get it. <laughs> and go get what we want and pay somebody else to cook it for us yeah. hallelujah so I, I don't want to cook today we're going to eat out today hallelujah and you know guys some of us can eat out every day <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. We, we not poor so stop complaint mummering and grumming hallelujah we, we, we bless yes now she sure said, in fact, when y'all speak about me, I want you to make mention of this woman. That's how much he thought about her in doing what? Somebody say good works. Huh? That's the key in doing good works. My heavenly father is taking care of me right now. Not only me, but my family. Not only my family, but all of you all right now. In spite of your situation. He is our provider. We should never forget that. Matter of fact, you know, how many of us, and you know, I know when we pray, we pray here together when we get ready to eat our meal. But how many of us pray over our meal every day? How many times in a day we eat, we pray over our meal? Huh? Sisters and brothers and those that are listening, please do not let this message be in vain to you. Let us take heed in what the Father has spoke unto us. And, and like I said, I'm talking about all religions. Oh, I, I can't go there. That's not my religion. 
Hmm? People get hung up on religions. Religions only take you far as that religion. You can see what's right. That ain't what my religion teach. See, I don't care about religion. What I care about is salvation. What I care about is the truth. What I care about is speak to me that I may repent. Make me to know my sins that I may repent of them and turn from that so I can get closer with the Messiah. And it should be all of our purpose. Because if we come for any other reason, <laughs> we here for the wrong reason. Yeah. Am I right? Hallelujah. You can stay at home. But we come here in other places where we can hear a word from the Father. Yes, that he will speak to our heart. Bring about a change in our life that we might be closer to him. Am I right? Mm -hmm. but, but you know, I know some folks, you know, they like to come to show off their, you know, new attire, suit, dress, shoes, hat, glasses, you know, yeah, new uh, perfume, uh, cologne. You understand? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Many folks go for that. But I'm here to tell you and tell me it's not about that. Mm -hmm. This scripture that we read is about salvation, about living unto our heavenly father. Am I right? Mm -hmm. A righteous life unto him. That's what it's about. All this other stuff that's added, all this other junk that goes on. Where do you find that in the scripture? I mean, we we, we going to pick up a love offering. Hmm? We, we, we going to have some rallies. We, we going to do this. We gonna, you're doing everything except what he told you to do. So, you know, that make me wonder sometime who is in control Huh? Who, who in control? Because all these other things that you done brought into the congregation that don't have anything to do with salvation. Huh? When the scripture told us plainly to make us aware of our sins. And when we be made aware of our sins, we put those things off, those weights that cause us to yield unto the truth. That that's our purpose for being here. And like he told us earlier, let your zeal be real to him. Hallelujah. Because whether you know it or not, Everything that you do, every thought that you think, what you let allow your eyes to see, he's there and he knows. Hallelujah. See, our name was put in the book. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But on that pencil, on the other end, they have an eraser. And your name can be easily erased at the book. Yeah. Your choice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It depends on what, not what your neighbor does, but what you do. You make a difference. Am I right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Are we satisfied? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we thank the Father for his word. We thank him for his chastising. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
he chastised those that he loved. Hallelujah. And, and, and sisters and brothers, the words that were spoke to us today, I say again, let it not be in vain. Because if the father comes back right now, right now, where do you think you stand? Hmm? Have we ever thought about that? When, when, when you do something that, that, that you know that's not right of Almighty, yeah, where do you think you stand if he come right back then? Because hmm? every soul that have passed away, the world ended for them. Do, do you understand that? They're asleep. Until the Messiah comes back. They're asleep. He said there's going to be a judgment day. And judgment day will come. Hallelujah. And we heard every soul will be judged according to his works. Am I right? You know, he, he called it getting a war. Huh? You're going to be rewarded. Am I right? He's going to reward the evil. And he's going to reward the good. Do you understand? You have a choice. To be evil. You have a choice. To be righteous. Hallelujah. And the question to all of us is. Which one. Will you choose? Hallelujah. Yahweh is good. That's what I want to hear all the time. Hallelujah. But we thank the Father again for his word, his salvation. We truly thank him. You know, last night when, when we laid down and we went to sleep, my Heavenly Father watched over us. Am I right? Did not let everyone, anyone break in our home. Am I right? Oh, yes. he, you know, these things, we got to remind ourselves every day. What he do for me every day of my life. Yes. And I need to be thankful for that. You need to be thankful for it. I'm not saying you're not. But we got to rehearse this over and over in our minds. To keep us in tune with him. Keep us in touch with him. Our children. We love them. We love our children. We don't want no harm. To come to our children. But a lot of time our children don't understand that. Because you know at one time we didn't understand. It. Hallelujah. That's why we pray for our children. Hallelujah. When they are around us and when they are not around us. Because we never know what they're going to do. No matter how much you've been taught. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I got a good one for us. Us grown folks. We don't never know what we're going to do when we're alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But remember this, Yahweh is watching over us all the time. Hallelujah. That's what's good. But sisters and brothers, you know, we pray for our children. We want them to grow up in Yahweh, be strong in Yahweh, be a good witness in Yahweh. And we too pray for ourselves that we be strong in Yahweh. And get stronger in Yahweh. Yeah. This world has nothing good to offer you. But Almighty Yahweh has life eternal to offer unto us. And I pray that we choose that road every day of our life. Because don't you know we can commit one sin and die 
all our righteousness all of it can be forgotten about so sisters and brothers let us pray for one another our strength that we grow stronger stronger and stronger together in Yahshua do, do we all agree with that yeah. let's give him a hand clap of praise yeah. hallelujah yeah. he is worthy and I keep saying that over and over and over and over and over. All the time. Because when you see the things that are going on in this world today. <laughs> sisters and brothers. The only way we're going to be kept. As we keep him. And he keep us in him. Hallelujah. But we thank the Father. Now, do we have any announcements 